And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we certainly had a taste of winter this weekend with temperatures dipping as low as the single digits in some spots over the weekend. The good news is that going ahead in the forecast, things look to warm up quite a bit. In fact, we could be reaching the upper 50s, even the low 60s for some spots. Unfortunately, not all good things can last, so that cold front moves in just in time for Friday, bringing cooler temperatures, maybe even the potential for snowfall once again in your forecast. For right now, crystal clear skies, few like clouds off to the west of us, but notice that sun just setting temperatures. Not exactly warm. We only had 38 degrees in Lafayette today. That's about 9 degrees shy of our normal high temperature, well below our record high for this day, 71 degrees uh, back in the 1980s. So things much warmer back then. Today, not so great. 37 degrees. Did see plenty of clear skies throughout the day. Few light clouds from northern counties. Even a couple isolated rain showers earlier on today as well. Winds from the southwest, 7 miles per hour. Don't expect the southwesterly winds to do much to help warm things up. That wind chill still at 32 degrees, and we're headed for the mid to low 20s overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. Winnemac, 35 right now, 38. In Logansport, we're at 37 degrees. Frankfurt still holding on to 43 at Crawfordsville at this hour. And you can see some of those light clouds now passing off to the east of us. Some more moisture, some rainfall, even light snowfall across the far northeastern portion of the viewing area, catching some of that moisture off the Great Lakes earlier on. We do have a core of low pressure off to the north of us, just uh, sitting over the Great Lakes that will kick off to the east of us over the next 24 hours. And as that occurs, we'll actually begin to see some clear skies filter back into the viewing area. Higher pressure off to our southeast over portions of Alabama as well as Georgia will continue to kick northeastward, bringing southerly winds into the viewing area, keeping things clear for now. But we are tracking the beginnings of a system that will likely bring rain chances back to the viewing area as early as uh, the middle part, the latter part of your Thanksgiving. So there's your weak frontal boundary off to the south of us. A few light clouds moving across the viewing area. We should be staying dry overnight tonight. Maybe some patchy fog in a few spots, so be mindful of that. Your snapshot forecast, a beautiful image sent in by Dennis Massey. Your backdrop tonight, 32 degrees by 7 p.m., falling to 30 degrees by 10, 28 by midnight. We'll bottom out tonight at 24 here in Lafayette. So scattered cloud cover, chilly, and certainly calm winds in the west around 0 to 5 miles per hour. For the tomorrow uh, in getting into your Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving, check this out. A weak warm front lifts northward. That's going to bring a few light clouds, maybe some uh, warmer conditions as well. Temperatures looking a little bit warmer for tomorrow. More clouds off to the west of us. A low pressure system kicking eastward just in time for parts of Wednesday night, Thursday. Thanksgiving could be bringing some chances of rainfall along with that turkey. 57 degrees, your high temperature by Thanksgiving. Once again, some of us could see that 60 degree temperature by Thanksgiving afternoon. For Black Friday, cooler, rainier, windier. Not going to be a pretty day. In fact, by the end of that system, we could be looking at three quarters of an inch to nearly two inches of rainfall throughout the viewing area. Saturday does look cooler. But also clear as well. 38 your high temperature, plenty of sunshine as we wrap up Black Friday. Okay, thanks, Kim. Yeah.